to YouTube. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome on back to Life of Jabari. As you can tell from the title, I'm going to be doing Middle School by Part 2. If you didn't check out the first, the Part 1, then I think you should definitely go check it out because I, like, gave advice, some advice, and stuff like that. But this video is going to be more, like, explaining, and I'm going to really explain to y'all what y'all should do. But if you, disclaimer, if you are going to middle school, then this video is for you. If you're like in sixth grade and stuff like that, then I, you can still watch this video though. I ain't gonna lie, you can still watch this video, but you might already know this stuff. So it's probably gonna be no point even clicking on this video. So if you were like a fifth grader and stuff, then I advise you to watch this because you might want to know some stuff before you step to middle school thinking you're going to be all of that and have friends and stuff like that and then having boyfriends and stuff like that but get your heart broken and stuff like that so i think you want to watch this video because i'm giving all the advice for fifth graders and elementary kids but make sure you like comment subscribe turn your post notification post notifications and at the end of every video i'll be doing post notification shoutouts so if you want to have a chance to hear your name come out my mouth all you have to do is subscribe and turn your post notifications and at the i mean and without further ado let's just get into the video so in part one, I explain about boys, but I'm gonna really explain it down. So you can give, you can give your heart to boys, guys, but you gotta make sure you know who you give your heart to. You gotta be really cautious and you gotta really think because you can give your heart to somebody, but they may, they might take it and break it, and then you have to lock your heart up from other boys so they don't play you or whatever. Hold on, y'all. So you can give your heart to a boy, but you gotta make sure they don't take it and break it, and then you ask them to lock up your heart and just so people won't play you again. Because in middle school, there is a lot of relationships, like a lot of relationships. So you might wanna be like one of them girls that have a boyfriend and stuff, and really close with their boyfriend and stuff, and then you end up having a crush and stuff like that, but they don't like you. So you gotta make sure you know who to like because sometimes they don't like you and you give all your effort into liking that person instead of doing your schoolwork and then just come to find out they don't like you, they like somebody else or they might already have a girlfriend but they don't really show her. Then that's another thing. You gotta make sure if you have a relationship with somebody with a boy, they they gotta make sure you gotta make sure they show you off. Like I'm talking about like all the couple things, like they hold hands with you. Not kissing or whatever. They hug you, say bye, like hold hands with you at the end of the day, before like class and stuff. Make sure they have a seat next to you if that's possible. You gotta make sure they like, they really. You gotta make sure they really committed to you because, and I only have a boyfriend in school, but I just know about all this stuff because I'm smart like that. Period. I'm just playing. But yeah, so you gotta make sure they really, like, in love with you and make sure. You not just liking them and they just playing you or, or using you or something like that. You got to stuff like that. You got to make sure they're not, they don't like, you got to make sure they like you actually, like you like you. Like, I feel like this is my opinion. You ain't got to listen to this. This might not be your opinion. You might not like it, but I'm going to just go ahead and say it. Like, I feel like boys got to like you instead of you liking them. Like, they got to ask you out and stuff. Or you can just go ahead and shoot your shot. I mean, basically what that means is, like, you can go ahead and ask them out. Like, you can just go ahead and be bold, ask them out, shoot your shot. Maybe maybe you won't miss. Hey, it happens a lot. So, yeah, but you also got to focus on your schoolwork so you can get good grades. Because... please sorry now but you also gotta focus on your schoolwork because you don't want to be in the same grade as you was as you were in already because like another thing about boys you gotta like you can be in a relationship but you also gotta focus on your schoolwork and you gotta make sure that boy that you like or is together with is not like a bad like, they can be bad and stuff. They can cuss, like, the usual cuss and stuff. But you got to make sure they grades is on point. They 
do their schoolwork at times. They may have a little bit of outbursts, but you got to make sure they do their schoolwork and stuff like that. You can't have a boyfriend that's just bad all the time, walking out of class, cussing out teachers and stuff, and not doing their schoolwork and have bad grades because that might affect you. They might pull you into some bull stuff, bull BS that you might like, not like. Like they may get you into trouble all the time because you might always be with them and they may pull your grades down and stuff like that. So you got to make sure who you call your boyfriend and stuff because like they can really get you in trouble. I'm just saying like, you know, you don't want that to happen. So you got to make sure you know who you trying to be with because yeah, just be cautious because I don't know. I don't know what the issue is with these middle school girls. They just freaking, they always let their boyfriend get them. It's just like some type of mess. Like, don't do that. Don't do that. Like, fifth grade girls, don't do that. And then, what I have a problem with is y'all little fifth graders having relationships at, like, a young age. Don't do that, bro. Like, that really makes me mad. That makes me want to smack one of y'all little fifth graders when y'all talking about, oh, yeah, he my boyfriend. This and that, he my boyfriend and stuff. No, like, you need to focus on your schoolwork so you can go to middle school, period. Like, I'm bad, but I still pass. I don't know how. And no, the teachers didn't pass me and stuff. So, yeah, make sure you you can be a little bit bad at times. I mean, you can have a little outbur outburst and stuff, cussing and whatever. But you got to make sure you're good at sometimes, too. You feel me? Like, you got to make sure you do your work. You can have all you also you can have friends and stuff, but you gotta make sure you hang with the right crowd, because if you hang with the wrong crowd, it might end up to something else. It might lead up to you getting suspended, getting expelled from school. Like a lot of middle schoolers, if you don't know, a lot of middle schoolers get in trouble for graffiti or whatever like this, and you know doing stuff like that. And, and it's a lot of rumors going to be getting spread around middle school. So you got to be cautious because you got to make sure you know who you tell your stuff to, like your business and stuff. Like, say if you tell your friend or your friend, they may be fake, you know, because people are fake in middle school. You might tell that friend, like, say if you didn't have a house and you was living in the shelter and stuff and people at the middle school, because they're going to make fun of you. If you tell the wrong person, people at middle school going to make fun of you for it, and they're going to laugh at you and stuff. So, and then our friend going to tell other people, they, you thought, you might have thought that they could have kept the secret about you living in the shelter. And the friend, obviously, is fake, and they was using you the whole time for your stuff or whatever. And once you tell them something like you know, like they know is going to freaking affect you, they gonna tell the other people in the school. It's gonna get around the whole school, and and once everybody knows in the school, they is just gonna start just not liking you no more. They gonna start mean mugging you, the, mugging you the heck out of you and stuff. They gonna start not liking you. They gonna start talking about you. They gonna go online, Instagram and stuff, and maybe post stuff about you like, oh yeah, did you know such and such living in shelter and she don't got a house and stuff. Oh, yeah, da, da, da. like you got to make sure you know who you take your stuff to because it can really affect you. Bro. And you got to make sure you not you don't run your mouth. That's one thing I learned because it can get you in trouble. Like this one time when I fought this girl, I freaking ran my mouth too much. And somehow it got back to it got to the third graders and it got to my aunt. So you got to make sure you don't run your mouth like you can like talk. Like, you can tell secrets and stuff, but you got to make sure you tell it, too, because then it might affect your whole school, middle school year. Like, so be cautious because um, it can affect you. And also, like, lunch. One thing I got to tell y'all fifth graders is bring your own lunch. Don't eat no school lunch, no matter if it's good or not. If you can't bring your own lunch, bring it. Like, it don't matter if it's just like a Lunchable and a little huggy juice or whatever. Bring your own lunch because I've seen a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, oh my God, I can't talk. I've seen a lot of school stuff, school news where they put in poison in your food and, and school food stuff. And I don't like that. So, fifth graders and elementary kids, make sure you bring your own lunch because that, that, no. 
I don't really like the, I don't really like that. So yeah, like I really don't like the fact that people talk about freaking schools poison, putting poison in chemicals in your food and stuff. So bring your own food and make sure. So after fifth graders go back to school or join this middle school, guys, make sure you always have a face mask or stuff like that. Make sure you always have a face mask. Like, bring a face mask with you just to stay safe, you know, because this whole pandemic and coronavirus and stuff and COVID-19 and all of that, like, no, you do not want to be freaking catching germs. Before this whole pandemic, it was already germs at the school to begin with. So you have to freaking stay clean. Make sure you bring bottles and bottles of hand sanitizer and stuff like that. That's just a disclaimer. And make sure you stay, like, 10 feet away, 10 feet away from people. That's... Your relationship with boys now, you got to stay 10 feet away from them. You can't be all up on them and stuff, you feel me? Because this whole pandemic stuff, and it's, it might affect you. You may you may never know. They can have some type of thing going on with their body where, like, it's contagious, and you can really catch it out here. So you got to make sure you stay really far away from people. And they talking about having that six feet apart in classrooms. Like, they're going to have to really up the size of the classroom because... Classroom gonna be really small. So yeah, that was that's the end of today's video. I hope you really enjoyed this. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up and make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications, and that's the end of this video. So goodbye.